So, greeting commanders, and welcome so, to the stream. And welcome Today, to the stream. we will be going to back into the Maelstrom, to a Titan, and attempt to collect um, tissue samples. So, um, let's just have a quick overview of the ship we're in. Um, we are in a um, Imperial um, Cutter, and... Um, Let's just go into the outfitting to show you what's on board. Right, so uh, weapons. We've got um, got a um, multi cannon, um, size four with corrosive shells on it. Um, that's because the d there isn't an AX size four multi cannon. We've got three size two AX multi cannons, um, uh, enhanced ones. Uh, we have an abrasion blaster. Um, uh, I've seen somebody else going with an abrasion blaster. I didn't see them actually use it, so I'm not sure if there is stuff to shoot off the surface of the um, of the Titans, uh, but we'll see. And two beam lasers, um, long ranged, uh, with thermal is it thermal spread? Uh, thermal vent, so that if we do get too hot, we can cool down. Uh, utilities, um, a normal field shutdown neutralizer and a Thargoid pulse neutralizer. Um, I'm not sure if I actually need one of these, if I have one of those, uh, but I have one. Um, Xeno scanner, uh, which is essential. Um, free caustic... Um, uh, sink launchers and two heat sink launchers. In the core internals, um, we've got military grade alloys. Um, I don't see any point in going in for anything more expensive for Thargoids uh, because, um, yeah, I, I don't think it would actually make much difference if you went for the more expensive ones because uh, okay, most, most of the damage is corrosion damage, and I don't think the more expensive ones have any. Um, any improvements on that? Uh, power plant. So the power plant is modified for um, low emissions. So I've got the biggest power plant plant possible with low emissions and thermal spread. Um, uh, so that that's to keep the temperature down. Um, the thrusters. So the thrusters have uh, dirty drive tuning. Um, oh, actually, that I'll just go have a test on that. Um, uh, yeah, so duty, duty drive um, for speed to keep the speed high so we can get away from the Thargoids. Um, the frame shift drive, um, again, that's largely irrelevant. Um, life support, um, power distributor, um, sensors. Again, I've got um, light sensors. Yes, and but the rest of that is largely irrelevant. Uh, we've got one large cargo rack. Um, don't really need that much, uh, but I wanted a little bit more than 16, which the um, the anti-corrosion one gives me for, for limpets. So I'm, I'm about half full with limpets. Um, got um, uh, everything else is um, Hull reinforcements. I've got one module reinforcements, but hull reinforcements. I'm carrying a fighter hangar, um, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get out in a fighter and have a fly around close up. Um, anti corrosion rack, uh, a limpet multi con uh, multi controller limpet, the Xeno one, and a collector limpet, and um, yeah, and we just got a. For the fighter, I've got the Taipan AX um, one, um, which will, uh, again, I don't intend to do any fighting with it. Uh, just just intend to try and get as close as possible um, in a ship that isn't going to matter if it gets killed. Uh, right, okay, so that is the ship. So um, if we launch now, um, the temperature on the ship um, running. 
normally without boosting uh, was about 14% which should be plenty low enough to um, avoid Fargoys taking interest in us. So it goes up a bit. Um, actually, um, right now I have have put slightly faster, faster thrusters on, which has increased the temperature, uh, but it's still running at about 17 when we're when we're not when we're just just sort of moving forwards at a normal speed. Does that actually drop when we when we slow down? No, it doesn't drop when we slow down, but um, yeah, 17 should be good. Right, let's plot a route to the the maelstrom. Right, uh, oh, I need to change my um, settings on here. Uh, let's change it to. Let's change it to that one. That's probably the most relevant one so um, it's going to take us two jumps to get there um, that's because we are carrying quite a lot of limpets I, I put far more on than I need how many how many did I actually put on at the end um, uh, inventory uh, nearly 200 Right, so I have been to the Maelstrom once before. I lasted about a minute before getting destroyed, um, but my ship was running um, a lot hotter then. Right, so I'm just going to run away from that. Right, uh, I'll try and remember what my field should uh, neutralise. Uh, it's that one put in there. So that's the normal field shut down neutraliser. A TG pulse neutraliser is. All oh, right. Okay, this is a Fargoid Hunter, which I don't think I can actually outrun, but that's okay because actually I'm not, oh, I haven't set up the weapons. I wanted to see how. While the weapons stand up against these, because I, um, yeah, I can't outrun these, so I do need to. So, um, right, oh, I haven't scanned it. So yeah, they're not as tough as um, interceptors. You don't have to worry about the hearts and things. But they are a lot harder to kill than the, um, than the scouts. Oh, I think they have. I think it always happens behind me. But I think they have a lightning attack as well. And it, um, all right, all right, all right. Um, my my um, screen is freezing up because the thermal vent lasers are dropping my temperature so much.
Oh, they do have a lightning attack, like the... Like the interceptors. I think this is only the, the second one I've actually tried to kill. Canopy doesn't seem to be lasting very well. I mean, that's probably the lightning attacks. Right, I'm going to go back to the um, fleet carrier after this because I want to head into the uh, maelstrom fully repaired. Oh, it's got shields as well. Okay, I didn't realise it got shields. Right, um, enhanced multi cannons. Are they? They don't seem to be doing any firing. Oh, they are. There we go. Sure, it's not my. It doesn't. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if my canopy is cracking up or freezing. All right, got modules malfunctioning now. I'm not sure which module that is. All right, so the canopy is only just being compromised. Yeah, there are definitely cracks on there. It's gone now. So we've got seven minutes to kill it. That should be enough. It's not done that much damage. We're doing more damage to it than it's doing to us. Although I haven't seen the state of my modules. It may have it may have destroyed some of the modules. Can I scan it? Where's the scanner? Scanner. Caustic damage detected. Alright, did I set up the a hotkey for the caustic emitters? Damage. Right, I've got caustic emitters. I can't remember how to trigger them. Did I set a button up for the caustic emitters? Right, I think this is a good time to try and break away. Go back to the fleet carrier, regroup, work out what the button was I set for the caustic emitters. Cabin pressure alarm. 
So, um, right, it looks like it'd be quicker to jump to somewhere nearby and jump back again. It's 50, 50,000 light seconds away. So now we want to plot a route back. How long have we got? Three minutes. That should be enough, but only just. So it's hmm. still haven't quite worked out how the caustic sinks work and uh, when you need to trigger them. See how far away it is. So I'm having to go by the. Uh, are we going too fast? Let's just slow down. I think we might be going too fast. Uh, no, we're okay. We're okay. Assuming it's that dot there. It's going to be quite tight, down to two minutes. which side of the planet it's on. Alright, um, I, I reckon that's probably on the other side of the planet. It's hard to tell without a canopy. So getting getting really tight now. Cabin pressure alarm. Warning. Oxygen Where is it? Ah, it's still... Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. 
meters away and dead. Just because it was on the other side of the planet. Oh, that is 40 million gone. Oh, this chip's a little, ship. It's a little bit cheap. It's only 34 million. Right, well, that was a bit of an experiment to see if we could destroy a hunter. And it looks like we can't. I think I'm going to need to refresh my stock Olympics as well. Let's limit that to it. I'll get about 100 this time rather than 200. Right, we'll plot the route back. Um, So the temperature there is, is just 14 now. It was 17 earlier. Oh, that's good. All right. Oh, is that because I... Ah, does it... Did the number of pips you have to engines make a difference to the temperature? You have departed the no fire zone. Bon voyage. That's steady at 19 now. Oh, that doesn't make much sense why it should be different. Oh well. It's below 20, which is the main thing. Actually, before we do that, let's find out what my button is to trigger um, to trigger a caustic emitter. Um, caustic sink um, so options uh, ship I should think um, and cooling silent running deploy heat sink so deploy heat sinks on there miscellaneous budget um, sink cargo no Chaff, use shield cell banks, charge. Uh, enable context menu. No, right, so. I am not sure if there is a hot switch. Is it switch modes? No, it's not switch modes. So chaff and shield cell banks are in this section, which is where I'd expect to find it. So caustic sink. Field shutdown neutralizers in there, e um, ECM. But it doesn't look like there is a caustic sink hot key available. Right, okay, so um, just check the um, fire groups then. Right, so I have beam lasers. All right, so we don't want the, don't want the abrasion blaster on there. So beam lasers, multi cannons on one. Uh, AX multi cannons on two. Uh, collector. Oh, I haven't set up a collector yet. So let's set up a collector. Um, actually, let's see what the other ones are first. So we've got um, uh, enhanced Xeno scanner, um, data link scanner. Right, so all the scanners there are on two. Uh, 
um, right, I think I think we can we can um, put all those on one, and then so the Hans Zeno scanner uh, that is going to want to be. Um, I should put the enhancing a scanner on one as well. Right, okay. Right, so that is the first contact. Then uh I want the um enhanced Zeno scanner, no we don't want that there. They, they can all go on there as well. Right, so here we have Caustic Sink is on two, and the Pulse Neutralizer is on one, uh, which which makes sense. Right, so that is to get through the through the maelstrom to the center and then we are going to want to have uh, probably keep the caustic sink and we're going to want the um, Zeno oh is it a Zeno Olympic controller which one's that caustic sink Um, heat sink. Oh, here we go, it's down here. Uh, right, so research limpet. No, we don't want that one there. Um, decontamination limpet. So we want the research limpets there. And here we'll have the decontamination and repair limpets. Right, okay, we may need another one if the... Right, let's set up another one for the um, abrasion blaster. Where's that gone to? Um, I do want that. Right, so that one is the collector limpets, which right, so they are there, and the abrasion blaster. So the abrasion blaster and collector. Right, okay, so I think that's the fire groups. Oh good. Right, okay, off we go. So if we, we get in, interdicted again, are we just going to run away? So there we go, hyperdicted. Actually, we want to get it and change the... I don't know what's chasing us, but it's not fast. Drive 
yeah this, this ship's running pretty cool now so even while charging up oh it, it is I don't know what that was but it caught up with us pretty quick Two jumps, wasn't it? Frame shift drive charging. Again, so we're interceptor. So we now need to scan the system. Oh, sorry, I don't think I put a. I've got a. Uh, there we go. We need to find the maelstrom again because we just got killed. Is that it? Nope. Uh, there we go, there it is. I think I know, I think I managed to scan the maelstrom in time. Yeah, I did. Ah, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm just heading towards the Maelstrom uh, with the hope of getting some deep tissue samples from um, the Fargoid mothership. So, um, Shia Di Diono. Shia Diono. So, um, yeah, welcome to the stream. Um, this is only the second time I've been uh, to um, a Fargoid Titan. Um, last time I lasted about um, a minute before getting destroyed. Um, so I did get destroyed earlier in the stream and that was just by a hunter. But that's because I ran out of oxygen on the way back to, um, to repair. Uh, only by about 
Uh, I could have landed in about another 20 seconds if I'd had an extra 20 seconds of my oxygen. Um, but yeah, that, that killed me. So, um, yeah, so um, the maelstrom is directly in front of us. We're probably going to get um, intercepted a couple of times by um, Thargoids on the way. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I did watch um, a stream a couple of days ago, um, I should probably more like a week ago now, of someone doing this. Um, I wasn't paying 100% um, concentration on it, so, um, but I, I think I've got my ship pretty similar to the way um, he had it set up. Um, it's, it's set up to run cold, so I can see here uh, the percentage, the temperature percentage is at 13%, so anything below 30% is supposed to be good. Not, uh, not 30, anything below 20% is supposed to be good. So hopefully we're not going to, um, we're, we're just going to be able to drift through without taking um, any, or without raising any attention from the Thargoids. So yeah, we've got to get through the first part, which is the caustic cloud. And it looks like once you get through the caustic cloud um, and you're actually at the Titan, um, the, it's not caustic in that zone, so um, hopefully um, hopefully we have enough caustic emitters to keep us in there for a while. One of them showing, one of them showing is only three left, which is a bit worrying. All right, so again, I'm never sure which side of the rings this is on. So it looks like it is on. All right, interdicted again, as as I expected. Interceptor. So hopefully I can outrun it. That may happen a couple more times before we get there. Uh, we've got one on our tail. Right, so yeah, it is below the rings, so... Yeah, hopefully this won't drag us back too far. For the blessed flyers, it's hard. I'm assuming you mean flying, flying through the maelstrom. Um, um, they're living up to their name. Um, uh, yeah, I can assume that means the best flyers. So um, yeah, so um, I yeah, oh my god, I've only had one attempt to go to um, through the maelstrom. So um, yeah, haven't really got the hang of how the caustic sinks work yet, and how long between firing them, um, or how long it is be between firing them that you need to go. But um, hopefully we can go through cool this time and um, get to the centre without raising much of, much attention. Last time the hard part was um, actually finding. Finding the center because once you when you get close to the center, it, it tends to, or your sensors tend to bounce about a lot and um, uh, mislead you as to which direction it is. So it might just be a good idea to to. I mean, we're pointing at the center now. If we just stay in this orientation. Temperature's low, that's good. Um, 
get rid of the caustic emitters and the shutdown neutralizer. So yeah, so that is telling us is telling us the maelstrom is directly ahead there. All right, so let, let's let's just point at it there, and uh, we'll ignore it. So um, we're not taking any caustic damage yet. So I don't think we are. Right, so let's fire. So I'm. I think I'm going to boost and use a few, few heat sinks. So yeah. So you see, the center keeps moving around. Quite a lot. Okay, so I'm going to have to swap the Caustic banks soon. Oh, here it comes. Um, uh, did I hit it in time? I don't think I did. Right, so. Right, did it hit it in time? Uh, and that caustic sink launcher is out of caustic things, so I need to quickly um, caustic sink set it to a different one. Right, let's go for another go. Oh, it only damages by only damages by two percent. We're on silent running as well. Don't want silent running. Ready, ready for the um, pulse again. Sounds like a pulse coming. So the first one was a caustic emitter hitting us. Alright, we'll give it one more go and then I'll go back to repair if we get, get hit again. I think I'm pretty low on heat sinks. Let it out if we could tell, tell where it actually was.
taking caustic damage as well. Did I sort that? Um, caustic meter sink, caustic sink out of ammo. Alright, okay. That's my last heat sink. coming. I think we made it through that time. Still taking caustic damage. Alright, temperature's gone up. It's coming down again now. Caustic substance neutralized. All uh, right, so caustic substance is neutralized. Warning, caustic damage detected. Right, so we're still in the caustic cloud, though. Oh, there's. What is that? Caustic, caustic crystal. Some noise there. Warning, caustic damage detected. All right. Caustic substance neutralized. All right. Um, I've got one caustic sink left on that bank, and then we'll have to switch to another one. Um, all right, you can synth sinks. Uh, I didn't know you can synth the caustic ones. Um, right, so that's don't really know which way it is now, which is what the problem I had last time was actually finding it. Alright, so it's right, it's saying it's that way. So let's let's go let's go with that. While we're doing that, let's change this one to the last bank. That looks central. Let, let's go for that. Right, let's see if we can um, synthesize some caustic. Uh, uh, where are we? So, caustic sinks. Yeah, there we go. Um, caustic shards. All right, I need caustic shards to be able to. You know, I haven't got any caustic shards. 
All right, so I expect these things here are caustic shot, so oh, it's a fog with wake. All right, that seems like a direction to heading. Uh, I think I saw it there. The air, there we go. So we're going, we're trying to stay cool. We're on the back of it, which is good. Hopefully when we get a bit closer to it, uh, we won't get any more caustic damage. Right. So I'm not getting any caustic damage at the moment. Right, so these tips, I think, are where we find stuff. So let's slow down. Right. Um, do we have anything to scan? Um, Fogoid Wake, that's that's a long way off. That's another Fogoid Wake. Alright, well, let's go for the Xeno scanners now. Uh, caustic emitter, repair, decontaminate, um, abrasion blaster, Xeno, enhanced Xeno. Is that a scanner? I can't remember if that, that is a scanner, isn't it? So I need to actually be able to select something to be able to scan it. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go to one of these shiny tips. All right, contacts. All right, it's all it's all fogoid wakes. Nothing else to scan. Um. Right, well, uh, how do we scan it if we can't select it? Uh, use the tool now to see the lock ons. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by the lock ons. I'm, I'm assuming there's uh, ports. Uh, which, which tool are you talking about? The Xeno scanner. Which a pulse wave scanner? Ah, a pulse wave scanner is one thing I didn't bring with me. Um. Right. So uh, is that another new tool? Uh, no, it's not a pulse. Oh, it's like the pulse wave scanner. Okay. Um. Right. So in that case, it's another tool I haven't got yet. Um. Right, okay, so, uh, so far, all the time we've done today is being wasted. But let, let's have a fly around. Um, um, I, I bought, I bought fighters with me. So I'll just park here nice and quietly. Try, um, try not to take, make any attention. And uh, let's go around and have a fly around in a uh, in a fighter. Fighter deployment sequence initiated. Right. I will also go into camera suite. Uh, we'll view this from the outside. Is that the front or the back? Oh, that's interesting. It's actually showing me inside the the fighter. 
even though you man these remotely. They're supposed to be remotely manned. That was weird. I wonder why it's showing you inside. Alright, okay, let's let's go and have a fly around. Can we find the? There it is. The, the cus is that the what they call the custard? I'm not sure if it is or not. Actually, I don't think we're close far enough, close enough to the centre for that. Oh, there's there's loads of them. Okay. All right, there's the big one. Oh, it's it's not it's not glowing. Does it only glow when something comes out? So there's these caterpillars on the side here. Ah, it's 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 opened up. Right, let's try flying in. I mean, theoretically, it should just put me back into. Oh, I can't fly in. Right, I'm I'm thrusting forwards, but it's it's pushing me away. Alright, so. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it's now it's now shooting at me. Oh, is that my ship? Oh, my ship's been bloody following me. Right. Right, that's my ship dead. Ah, set the wrong orders on the ship. So, um, yeah, I'm going to die any second. Can't control the ship now. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I forgot to set orders on the main ship. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised the ship is still here. Alright, it hasn't got any power. Oh, yeah, no, it's still going. I thought it would be right. I just want to go into frame. Um, I assume I'm going to have to go back. Can I? Can I? No, oh, I'm mass lot, so I'm going to need to fly out of the maelstrom as well. Uh, I've got another another one of those. All right. Okay. Hunters after us. Right. Can we jump into 
super cruise, or do we have to get all the way through? Uh, looks like I'm not going to survive long enough anyway. Um, course to commit to time. Still mass locked. Can't see anything in front of us. And we are fully out of ammo for the Corsi committers now. So, uh, yeah, we've got, got about a minute left before we die. Um, I have got. Okay, dead again. So, uh, right, so it's the Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner. Right, so, um, what do we need to do to get a Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner? I imagine we have to collect something and take it to, um, take it to a um, technology broker. Right, so let me have a look to see what we need to do to get a Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner. Um, yeah, as I said, I didn't fully take notice of the, the other video. Um, uh, right, so... Um, So uh, let's look at technology brokers. Um, uh, right. Okay. So the pulse wave Xeno scanner is not right. Let's let's find something. Let's find the nearest one and look for a place that stocks them. So. Um, to, um, I'm using uh, Inera nearest to find out where that would be. Um, outfitting. Pulse wave analyzer. Pulse wave analyzer. Pulse. Pulse wave analyzer. Um, enhanced Xeno Scanner. Right. Um, right. I'm. I'm not finding any information about the Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner. You got any ideas where you get that from? Ah, Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner, where to buy? Um, Sirius. Uh, right, okay. Patterson Enterprise. Um, all right, so I know where to get one from now. D do we need to... Um, um, how do you scan asteroids? All right, so... Um, right, so let's, let's confirm and redeploy. Hopefully we're back on my fleet carrier. We are. Um, I will get into a uh, much faster ship and go over to Sirius to hopefully just pick up a Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner. Um, can't see anything in the engineers, notes in the engineers about unlocking it. Uh, let's, let's just a minute. Uh, right. Let's see if it mentioned anything about unlocking it. Unlock pulse wave Xeno scanner. All right. Um, uh, 
All right, so pulse wave analyzer. Um, The uh, data technology brokers. Yeah, can't find anything in. Can't find anything about the um, pulse pulse having to unlock the pulse wave Xeno scanner so I'm presuming we just need to go to a um, particular place to buy it so let's try that so I'm going to use um, uh, let's use let's use the anaconda it's a little bit faster and um, uh, I just found it was available Um, all right, so that's it was serious. Um, serious, serious. That's not it, that's the serious. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the location. All right, so in this ship, that should hopefully be like two, two or three jumps. Jumps is it uh, two? So yeah, it's not going to take as long to get there. So do you know where you get the um, the the um, the caustic? What's it? The, the, the caustic crystals? Um, is is um, the Maelstrom the only place you can find those? I should have sent out some collect Olympics after those when we saw them. Right, so it's just 900 light seconds, that shouldn't take too long.
right, it should be concentrating on flying rather than trying to read this web page. Right, so someone else has just joined us in the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are get, um, on the way after a um, a uh, what's it? Z um, Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner, which should hopefully be available at this station. And then we will head back to a maelstrom and see if we can collect some samples. got too close to it and was flying around in random circles that's just get a little bit of distance and turn around so um yeah I think it's available in this station um, but uh, again I don't know if I need to unlock it first I haven't been able to see anything to suggest I need to unlock it. thinking I was still in the cutter there and wondering why it was slowing down so quickly but I'm I'm just in the anaconda which isn't anywhere near as quick and it has the, the bridge towards the top of the ship not the middle which I always forget when I keep swapping between ships Probably available at Shinata Desria, isn't it? So should have probably gone there instead. This, this is maybe one jump closer. All right. Okay. Let's see if it is available here. Right, outfitting. Right, so um, it's, uh, I'm assuming it's a utility and a bit experimental. Um, I just got a caustic. Um, uh, actually, is it, is it, or is it a, is it a, um, I can't remember if it's a, Utility or a an item. I don't know. Ministry. Oh, that's a different ship, isn't it? All right. Um, have I got any other empty slots there? Uh, so again, I'm probably looking for experimental. Hmm. 
Or swave analyzer. Where to buy? All right, okay. Sirius Patterson Enterprise, that's where we are. All right, let's see if, if uh, um, I think there's a, te a technology broker here. Uh, no, it's a materials trader. Um, could it be a weapon? Is it a weapon? Um, hard point. Beam. Experimental. Mining tools. Just trying to find an ordinary pulse wave scanner. Um, utilities. All right, utilities. Um, point defense, pulse wave. All right, so, all right, so the, pulse, the normal pulse wave analyzer is a utility so i'm assuming the new one will be um, this website says it's available from here um, and so it was here two hours ago Oh, just that's an ordinary pulse wave analyzer. That's not the Xeno one. So it's a pulse wave Xeno scanner. Military high tech AX, no, just that's the AX scanner. So, uh, pulse wave Xeno scanner now available. Rescue ships, right, rescue ships. All right, okay, um, let's buy back that. Um, that cargo rack. And head off to a rescue ship. So where is the nearest rescue ship? 
Or, or, or say, where's the nearest res rescue ship on the way back to the fleet carrier? So the fleet carrier is there. Hopefully we can do it in one jump somewhere in between. So is that, is that where my, no, that's not my fleet carrier, is it? Um, all right, there's my fleet carrier. And that rescue ship there is about halfway between. So that. That should be good. Right, okay. Oh, I'm typical. It's the other side of the planet. So where's the rescue ship? There we go. Oh, a bit of a conflict in this system. Uh, is there anything else I want to pick up from a rescue ship while I'm here? Um, Ah, yes, there is. I want to pick up another, another enhanced, um, enhanced Xeno scanner. Yeah, it'll only only let you put one Xen enhanced Xeno scanner on the ship at a time. Um, so normally, what I do is I use this ship and just stock up with what I need. Because uh, um, it, it doesn't have any hard points or utility points used, and I'll take that back to the fleet carrier and swap them over. Um, but it, it wouldn't let me take more than one enhanced Xeno scanner at a time. So um, yeah, I've only got two of those at the moment, and I probably need. I've got three ships where they would be useful. Four, four ships, five ships. Yeah, five ships where they'd be useful. So I'll pick one of those up as well. Right, it's time to slow down. Oh. Right, so hopefully I'll be able to pick up enough of those um, caustic crystals to power the um, caustic um, caustic sinks. Because uh, yeah, we used used f all four up. Well, yeah, or actually, let's get another caustic sink as well, just in case. Um, because I'm going to need to take. I'm going to need to take out a um, ditch one of the utilities. I'll get rid of the um, the pulse wave neutralizer, I think. Um, ah, Dirty Beggar, welcome to the stream in 07. 
Um, I'm just picking up a um, a uh, pulse wave Xeno scanner. Uh, having just been to into the maelstrom and realising that oh, I, uh, thanks to um, Shara Dion, um, yeah, he let me know I should have probably taken one of those with me, um, so that they weren't something I was aware um, I needed. Um, I haven't been been playing Elite that much recently, um, so yeah, I wasn't aware that we needed the uh, the new the new tool. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I, I had everything else except for that, I think. And um, yeah, I had a little bit of a fly around while I was there in my um, in a fighter, um, and that did draw attention. And they opened fire, but I I think I forgot to tell the the. Um, Forgot to leave orders for the main ship. Uh, again, it wasn't manned, so theoretically it shouldn't have moved anywhere. But um, it seemed to follow me around. So, um, um, yeah. So next time I do that, I will make sure that the that the mother ship is holding station and not following me. Uh, I think there's a I think there's a command you can do to de to that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, I I forgot forgot about that. I um, I, I knew it. The default was follow when um, you have a um, crew member flying it, but um, I left it unmanned, so I assumed it wouldn't follow me. But um, but it did. Oh, that that was too soon. Let's, let's jump back into frame shift drive and try that again. go. Right, hopefully I'll be able to dock. Um, so I think these only have two or three large landing bays. And as always it's on the other side. We're facing the right way. Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Engines disabled. All right. So hopefully, I'll be able to get um a. I don't think I need more than one. Uh, am I going to build another exploration ship? Probably not. So yeah, just just the one. Um, and it is utility. Probably experimental. Uh, pulse wave Xeno scanner. Yeah, so we'll get one of those. Um, I also want uh, a. Can I have um, an enhanced Xeno scanner? I can. Um, Variant Xeno scanner with extended range at the. All right, I cannot buy it. All right, what was it I just picked up? It was it was a. Was that the Xeno scanner? Full pulse wave Xeno scanner. All oh, right, okay. Does the pulse wave Xeno scanner do? 
um, the same stuff as the advanced Xeno scanner. It does, it, yeah, it doesn't seem to let me have both pulse wave Xeno scanner, enhanced Xeno scanner. Uh, variant module type limit exceeded. Have I have I already got one on, on board? I, f I didn't think I had any utility. Uh, no. Right. Um. All right. Okay. So the pulse wave one replaces the enhanced, but the oh, it only has one range. Whereas the enhanced, uh, the enhanced one's got two range, two um, two kilometers range now, hasn't it? Right. Okay. So um, I also wanted to pick up another. Uh, um uh another caustic uh another caustic launcher oh well, looks like i have yeah let's just pick one more up um uh, was there something else i wanted um let's see what else there is um experimental so yeah, so it's not not one of those. Uh, was it a weapon I wanted? I don't think it was a weapon. Let's, let's have a look at hard points and see. If... Mm, no, I don't think I wanted any more weapons. Right. Okay. So it's just that then. Um, right. Okay. Right. Right, so it's back to the fleet carrier. That would be just one jump, possibly two, two. Uh, right, I don't have. Um, all right, so I need to um, go into. That's weird. It's not letting me go into the menu. Uh, right, I need to turn off the the pulse wave scanner because it's it's disabling some of my units. So um, where is it? Power distributor, um, it's going to be something that's on. There it is, so yeah, let's turn that off. Hopefully. Right, why is the frame shift drive disabled? I've got something. Uh, oh, there's a repair limpet controller there as well. I don't, I don't need that. Power distributor. I do need that. Right. Um, something on here. It's not part of the normal build. That is. Guardian frame ship, that should be there. Auto field maintenance unit is off. Shield, pulse wave, 
fuel scoop, life support sensor cargo rack, that caustic sink launcher. Right, that needs to be off as well. Yeah. Yeah, th this is an exploration ship, so the um, um, power usage is right at the limit. Right, let's let's renavigate the route to the ship. Right, okay, um, I'm back. All right, so, um, yeah, so all right, it is still two jumps. Um, yeah, I uh, I can't remember if I had to unlock the course of committers, but oh, yes, you do. Yeah, um, I have unlocked that. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, I've got I've got plenty of caustic emit, uh, not caustic emitters, um, caustic sinks. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, that isn't a problem. Um, uh, oh, what, what else you said? Uh, a kilometer. Uh, yeah. Right, so the fleet carrier is pretty close to the start in the next system. Oh, did I engineer the caustic sinks? Uh, no, I didn't realise there was an engineer that could do that. Um, uh, right, let, let me have a have a quick look at that. Um, I'm assuming that will give you um, a couple of extra bursts on each one. Um, right, so. Um, Let's have a look at let's have a look at the details on that C. But um, see if well first see if I have the resources needed for that. Oh. Uh, right. Um, I'm having trouble accessing the internet. Has my internet gone down again? It doesn't seem to have done. I so, still seem to be streaming okay. Uh, right. Oh, there we go. Um, right, engineers. Um, uh, it's not Olympics, is it? Thermal. Thermal weapons, kinetics, uh, frame shift drive shields, scanners and sensors. Uh, um, armor, is it armor and reinforcements? Uh, right, caustic sink, caustic sink. I suppose you know who who engineers. Yeah, don't suppose you know who engineers the um, caustic emitters. Um, scanners, sensors, personal equipment, uh, unlock requirements. Oh, that's to unlock the ship modules. Heat sink, heat sink. Right, um, I'm not finding, or oh, in in era isn't telling me anything about um, engineered caustic sinks. Uh, 
Um, so I'm not sure. Um, again, I think the Corsic things are experimental, so I don't think Ramtar. Ramtar does it? Does he? Okay. Uh, yeah, Ramtar does heat sinks. No, well, no mention on here about caustic sinks, unless that is a new, a new thing. Uh, where is Ramtar? Um, uh, right, let's. Uh, right, so um, again, an era could be out of date. Let's have a look to see how far we are from Ramtar. Um, again, I've only got one on me at the moment. Right, let, let's 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 go back to the to the mothership as we're pretty close. Pick up a pile of sinks, corset sinks, and head off to Ramtar and get those up upgraded. Um, so I'm assuming they'll add like 50% extra. Ramtar is in me Mini. Far is Mini. Got a feeling it's down a long way. Um. All right, I'll look for him. I'll look for him after we've after we've docked with the fleet carrier. Yeah, so um, back at the beginning of the stream, I um, had a bit of a run-in with a, um, a hunter and um, it blew my canopy and um, I got, got this close to my fleet carrier when I ran out of oxygen. Uh, oh, actually, yes, I did know that. I had forgotten, though. <laughs> yeah, I could have synthesized some oxygen, couldn't I, if I thought about it. Um, yeah, no, I had forgotten that. Um, it's not, not something I've done very often. But, uh, yes, I did know that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about that. I'll, I'll um, yeah, if that happens again, I'll, I'll get on the synthesis a little bit earlier because I have had plenty of time to synthesise some. Right. Okay. So we need to go to the carrier services. We'll store the. I think I've got some caustic sinks already in storage on on the fleet carrier, so I'll store the um, Zeno. Uh, Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner, and I will pick up a few more caustic sinks and head down to Ramtar. It's been a long time since I've been to see Ramtar. Uh, I don't often need to um, engineer limpets. Um, I don't suppose, is, is it this? All right. Um, yeah, it doesn't tell me what I need to engineer the caustic sinks because it doesn't mention them. I don't suppose you know what is required uh, for that. Right, so utilities, um, we will store that and pick up some more caustic sinks. Uh, equip, I think I've got four of them, which is as many as I have on the 
ship where I need them. Uh, um, experimental. Alright, I'll now need to go into um, into there and turn them all off. Uh, right, so um, caustic sink launcher. Uh, right, okay, so they are all off. Um, right, okay. Um, let's find Ramtar now. So Ramtar is in Mini. Uh, which I seem to remember is one of the ones that is a little bit further away than all the others. Is it that one there? No, that's Mung. What's that one? No. Uh, there we go, Mini. No, just two jumps, okay. Um, high predicted. Right, okay, this could be interesting. Uh, yeah, this ship isn't really fast enough to outrun anything but a scout. Fortunately, the rebuy is really low. What is the rebuy? Like it's probably a hunter. Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, I wasn't expecting one of those near here. All right. Frame shift drive is disabled. It's probably going to be damaging my um, guardian. Ship cross charging, and I get away from him. Uh, looks like I can. Yeah, we've made it. Yeah, so this ship has no defenses um, apart from. Uh, very limited shields, which are only really there to enable me to land. It's got no weapons, and it's not not terribly fast. Unless you're talking about jump range, in which case it's really good. Um, so you screenshot the stuff, the stuff I need. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how you can get that to me. Um, I I was just just um, looking it up to see if I can find. find uh, what the requirements are. Oh, I'll just, um, I think we're probably there now, probably here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right, so unless it is a Fargoid specific thing that has been introduced um, since um, update 14, then I should probably um, have everything I need for it but um, yeah I haven't got any spare um, caustic tissue samples or anything like that which are, I'm pretty sure they're going to actually require but let, let's go and see what it is we need Uh, oh no, the link didn't work. It it um, it replaced the link with um, uh, ast um, uh, dashes. So yeah, I haven't got um, Twitch set up for to allow people to post links. Um, yeah, no, I'm not linked to any Facebook accounts, so, um, uh, um, un um unless you, unless you post it, um, uh, as a reply to the Facebook message I posted earlier, um, uh, I, t I turned that off, uh, let me just go back into Facebook. Um, oh, lots of uh, shots. Right, so let's see if we can find the message I posted earlier. Uh, right, so well, I've just been told I've only got five minutes left uh, to complete the stream, so hopefully we can get to Ramtar in that time. But yeah, it looks like we're not going to get into the to the thing. Right. Um, yeah, if you could, if you could link that to the. Facebook post I made earlier in the comments um, I should be able to access it um. right so this is a planetary lantern isn't it so I, mean, I think what I'm flying about at Oh, it's nearly nine o'clock. So, um, how long's the stream been going? Nearly two hours. Yeah, I didn't expect. Uh, I expected it to take about an hour, uh, which it probably would have done if I had the scanner and I knew about the scanner to begin with. And yeah, going going and collecting the, um, again getting, getting this engineered. That's that's going to take up some time too. And I glide towards the... I'd love to know why sometimes when you're gliding it allows you to turn and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to need night vision. It's just below. Uh, see the towers, but we can't actually see the ground. Uh. 
All right. Okay. So, um, all right. So, um, yeah, I will. Um, if if we, yeah. I mean, again, this will, this was about to give the information anyway. So, um, yeah. Thanks for looking. Slow down a little bit more before. I... Warning: landing gear not deployed. Crash into that dome. And there's another commander here. Right, why is it? Um, am I in the right landing? Yeah, why is it not showing me? Ah, oh, it is. There we go. Right, so local services. Landing operation uh, complete. Commence system engineers workshop. Right, okay, that's sh only showing a heat sink. Is that because I don't have them powered up? Maybe they need to be powered up before they can be engineered. Right, okay, let's go and I no, no, don't do it from my device, I do it from from here. Let's go and power one up, see if that makes a difference. Right, so um right, let's have another look. Heat sink launchers, okay. Ah right, okay, it's still under heat sink launchers. Okay, so Right, let's see what we need. So we want we want um ammo capacity. So um right, so this uh forty percent increase on ammo capacity. Uh um and it looks like it's it's all normal stuff, so right, okay, so that is one done. Is is um uh, one upgrade the the, the highest option? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is for the for the heat sinks. Shields are flying. Uh, right. Okay. So that gives us two extra bursts, which should be. Should be plenty, I think. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's like, like the heat sink. So yeah, thanks for that. Um, I'm going to call that a day there because my dinner is um, nearly ready. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, thanks for all the tips. And if um, Shara Dion is still watching, um, thanks for your tips as well. Um, it looks like I'm going to be all ready to go into the Maelstrom again uh, for the next stream. So I'll, I will fly, fly back and re-equip the ship. And um, I will see you next time. Right, let me see if there's anybody streaming Elite to Raid. Uh, right, so Father Bill is streaming, so I will um, send a raid to Father Bill. Um, I can't actually chat to Father Bill because um, he's got it set up so you need to um, uh, authenticate with Twitch um, and your phone number. I don't have a phone to be able to do that. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And I'm going to send you off to see Father Bill now. So thanks a lot and bye-bye.
Hey, Commander Overseer, thank you very much for the raid, and welcome to those joining from that channel. Hope you had a good stream. What are we up to today? Hey, Wandering Rabbit, welcome back. Right, okay, if anyone's still right watching, now, I'm going to end my, uh, the stream now. Passengers on board.